How's everybody doing tonight? Y'all enjoying the show? That's great. That's great. That's great. Uh, let's get into this. Well, to start off, I want you all to know that uh, I recently lost 12 pounds. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are you too excited, though, because I've gained 57 of those pounds back? Yeah. It's not going well for me. Also, this is not the season for big men. Just want y'all to know that me personally, I have to wear two or three undershirts just to keep from sweating right here under this titty undercarriage right here. That's something a man should not have to deal with. That, and then when I take a shower, I have to lift up my belly just to manscape down here. I know, I know visuals, but I have to live with these people. You get to go home and be yourself. Yeah, um, I've always wanted three kids in my life. And I had my first daughter. And I will say, she screwed that up for the other two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I love my daughter, don't get me wrong, I love her. But I will say, um, she's an asshole. <laughs> and for those parents in this room right now, I'm gonna talk to you directly. If you think that you are best friends with your kids, something's wrong with you, you need help. <laughs> I don't know what you, what, what's going on, a best friend, a kid? Your life is wrong, and it's your kid at that. I can see being best friends with somebody else's kids because they'll treat you right. <laughs> and to think that one day my daughter's gonna have to take care of me when I get old. Right. Hell no, I don't know why. <laughs> Just put me at a retirement home. I don't care if they beat me, it's better than being with her. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell her I said that. <laughs> I know, I know. Last night, history was made. Uh, the first Mexican heavyweight was crowned last night. Yes, yes, and this man is built just like me. So I just want everyone to know that this summer, I'm going to spend 90% of the time without my shirt on and at the local Popeyes. I'm going to be sweating right here. But it'll be a great summer for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see, and the kids in the building, oh! I see a kid back there. How you doing? Say hello. How you doing, sir? What's your name? Gabe. Cade. 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 Are you confused by a lot of these jokes people are telling tonight? Yeah, you should be. Uh, you should be. To grow. How old are you, Cade? Eleven. I want you to know your mother loves you, but she doesn't like you very much. Don't tell her I said that. Don't tell her I said that. Because she wants you to think everything is perfect. <laughs> but Cade isn't. Oh, yeah, let's see. What else is going on in my life? Cade, I'm going to leave you alone, buddy. I, just, I saw you back there. I felt like I needed to give you some attention, sir. 11 years old in the comedy club. Summertime, baby. Yeah. Summertime. His teacher is here? Oh, he's a teacher's kid. Oh, he's really bad as hell, then. Teacher's kids make the worst ones, I tell you. I, just, I want you all to know this is none of my set. I'm just making this up right now. Let's just talk. Cade, your teacher's kid. Your teachers don't like you either. I want you to know that. But I can guarantee they won't snitch on you because they work with your mom. Yeah. That's accurate as hell right there, Cade. Hey, what do you want to be when you grow up? It doesn't matter what you want to be. This is America. This is where dreams come to die. Look at me. I'm up here on stage fat. Uh, I like this. You guys are great. So, I use this. It's okay. Let it out. Let it out. Because I, I want you to know that right now, I really need to go pee, but I'm talking like this way. So just let it out. The more you laugh, the sooner I get off the stage. So go ahead and let it out. <laughs> Again, I've forgotten everything that I want to talk about because of Kate. Thanks, Kate. Okay. Well, your mom's a teacher. I'm going to talk to your mom for a second, then I'm going to get out of here. Um, I want you to I have two degrees. I have a degree in physical education, and I have a master's in early childhood education. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the custodian at an elementary school. <laughs> Don't get it twisted, people. I'm the head custodian. 
That's right. That's right. You're very important. That's what teacher time for. Yeah. You know what? That sounds good, but you guys don't work in a position I do. I'm not that important. Well, I'll tell you why. <laughs> Teachers think that I can do any and everything under the sun. <laughs> Your car broke down. Who you come to? The custodian. <laughs> I just told y'all what degrees I have. Mechanic is not in there. I can't fix a car. <laughs> AC goes out of the classroom. They come get me. The AC's out. Well, I need you to call HVAC because ain't nothing out there about it. <laughs> Only thing I can do is sweep and plunge. <laughs> and I have to, if I have to do this one too many times, I'm calling the plumber. I'm not going down that hole. I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, but I've got to tell you, Kane, I've got to tell you, Kane. That's right, I know your name, so I'm talking to you. Um, I recently moved into a white neighborhood, Kane. <laughs> And I've got to tell you, it has changed my life. <laughs> I finally have good credit. <laughs> I've learned how to swim. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But now, I'm afraid of the new black neighbors. <laughs> I did not see that coming, people. I did not see that coming. Uh, but I tell you what, though, uh, I did change the lives of my white neighbors as well. I have given each of them their one black friend. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, I am going to uh, leave the stage. I, once again, my name is Walter Gaucher. And you can find me on social media, media at Mookie G Comedy. Thank you very much. Yeah.